Hello, this video was created by Wiene Bellare, a senior information developer at BMC Software, and narrated by a computer-generated voice. In this video, we'll see the powerful features that BMC Discovery provides to scan your IT infrastructure. We'll explore how you can configure a snapshot scan and a scheduled scan for IP addresses and cloud resources. Let's go to the Manage menu and click Discovery. To begin with, check the current discovery status. Depending on whether discovery is running, the status can be stopped or running. If the status is stopped, click the Start All Scans button to enable discovery. Before you scan your IT resources, decide if you want to exclude some IP devices from a scan. For example, you may have some legacy applications that run only on old hardware and you may want to exclude such devices. To do this, click the Add New Exclude link. If you want the exclusion to be applied always, select Permanent, or if you want to exclude devices on specific days and times, select Scheduled. Then select the frequency, such as once a week, specify the days of the week when you want to exclude the endpoints from a scan, and then select the hours of the day when you want to implement it. In Scope, you may leave the setting to default or if you have an issue of overlapping IP addresses and have already defined a custom scope, select it. Then enter the IP addresses, if any, to be excluded from the scan. Next, enter a unique label to identify the exclusion rule and add a description. Click OK to save the exclusion rule. The newly added rule is displayed in the Exclude Ranges tab. Here, you have the option to select a rule and disable, enable, or delete it. Now that we've finalized which devices to exclude, let's configure a discovery scan. First, we click Add New Run. The two basic scan types you see are Snapshot and Scheduled. A Snapshot scan is triggered immediately after configuration, and it occurs once. A Scheduled scan occurs only on the configured days and times. Let's first create a Snapshot scan. Enter a unique label to identify the scan. You can scan either a set of IP addresses or your cloud resources. For this snapshot scan, let's explore the IP address option. Specify if you want to perform the scan using the scope from the local appliance, a registered outpost, or leave it to the default option, anything suitable. However, if you don't have any overlapping IP addresses, you can leave the scope to default. In the range field, Enter the range of IP addresses you want to scan in the IPv4 or IPv6 format. Next, select the level for the discovery run. This can be either sweep scan, which tries to determine what is at each endpoint in the scan range, or full discovery, which retrieves all the default information for hosts. For the ping field, you can either opt to ping each endpoint before scanning, which is the default option, or you can skip pinging before scanning. This option is suitable for cloud discovery because public IP addresses do not respond to ICMP pings. For session logging, if you select Enable, you can capture discovery data to share it with customer support for diagnosis, or you can opt to disable the capture of session logs. Finally, click OK to save the snapshot scan. The scan is triggered immediately, and you can view its progress here, in the Currently Processing Runs tab. After the snapshot run completes, it is listed in the Recent Runs tab. For each run listed here, you have the option of clicking the Rescan Now button to rerun it. Before we explore the endpoints discovered in this snapshot run, let us go back and create the second type of scan, a scheduled scan. You might want to use a scheduled scan so that it runs during off hours and avoids the risk of pinging critical applications. To configure a scheduled scan, click Add New Run. Enter a unique label to identify the scheduled scan. Select Scheduled to set up the scan days and times. Select the public checkbox only if you want to enable TPL patterns to initiate scans on IP addresses in this range. Next, select the frequency at which BMC Discovery must scan for endpoints. This can be every N hours, or specific days of the week, and so on. In each case, set the relevant values. In the snapshot scan, we've already seen how you can configure a range of IP addresses. So, 
For this scheduled scan, let's try the cloud option. Select the cloud service provider, such as Amazon Web Services. A new set of fields is displayed. These fields could differ, depending on the provider you select. Configure the provider fields as relevant to your setup. Finally, click OK to save the scheduled run. This scan appears in the Scheduled Runs tab. The scan will run on the days and times you've configured. To edit this, simply click the required run, edit the fields and save it. Similarly, to disable, enable, or delete a scheduled run, select the required checkbox and click the relevant button. If you have an on-premises installation of BMC Discovery, and you have set up a consolidation appliance, you could configure a scan on the scanning appliance that sends data to the consolidator. You can see the scan progress on the consolidator in the Currently Processing Runs tab. Now that we've run a snapshot scan and configured a scheduled scan, let's explore how we can see the results of these scans. The current discovery status is displayed here, in the Discovery Status Summary. Let's understand each of these results. Successes shows the count of successfully scanned devices. If multiple node kinds are found, a multi-kind list is displayed. Transient failures displays the count of endpoints previously scanned for which there is a no response or no access discovery access result. Credential failure shows the number of endpoints which can be contacted but for which the credential is invalid. Identity changes shows the count of endpoints which appear to have changed identity. No responses shows the count of endpoints previously scanned, which are not responding and are aging out of the model. You've just seen how to configure discovery scans and view the scan results. For more information on this topic, see the BMC online documentation portal. Thanks for watching.